Hello everyone. Welcome to your favorite YouTube channel by Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Telecom Billing System. So without much delay, we will begin. First, we require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require a text editor. We may use any text editor as per our choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks for VS Code. Thirdly, we require an operating system. Again, we can use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So now, without much delay, we will be seeing the code. So here we are in the code part. So I will explain you the code. Then we will run it and I will show you how does this work. First, I have included all the header files right here. Like this stdio.h, podio.h, windows.h and standard library.h. Then we have a structure named customer where we have certain character arrays. Like contact number, name and a price which has a floating data type. Then we have certain functions like go to xy, add records, list records, modify records, delete records, search records, payment and login which can perform certain tasks depending on what we want to do. Then we have the main function. In the main function we have password, contact number and choice. Accordingly this performs certain functionalities. Then it displays welcome to telecom billing system and you can press any key to continue. Accordingly it displays here telecom billing system and it asks you to add new records. Show the list of records, modify records, payment, search record, delete record and exit. So you have to enter your choice. These are the coordinates. So you can go to this, uh, you can, you call this go to xy function and you can pass certain parameters as coordinates. And you can see if you enter anything rather than the seven options given above, it will go to default. It will clear the sc screen, display color 0f and it shows incorrect input and press any key to continue. So these are basically the coordinates 0 0 and uh, when you pass a certain coordinate here it passes to max, resol max resolution cursor size. So here the coordinate structure gets initialized to x and y. Then here in the add records function what we are going to do we are going to use a file handling procedure. So here pro.txt file is opened in both the read and write mode. Then it will show you Please wait while we configure your computer. Then our loop will be running which is all an infinite loop. Then it says enter phone number, enter name, enter price and shows record is successfully added. Then in the list records function, you can input your phone number, username and price accordingly. Then it will ask you and uh, press any key to go back. Then in the delete records function, you have to enter the phone number to be deleted from the database and the record will be deleted successfully henceforth. Then in the search records function, it will ask you to enter the phone number to search in the database and if the record will be found good for you, if the record will be not found, it will show requested number not found in our database. In the modify records, again you may modify your system's information. It will ask you to enter the phone number of the customer to modify. So you enter the phone number, name, price accordingly. Then in the payment function, what you want to do is you have to enter the phone number of the customer for payment because phone number is a attribute which is different for different customers right so it will display you the details like phone number name and current price and it will ask you to enter the price of the payment after which it says thank you your name for your timely payments then this is the login page you have to log in right because this is a system and for the security purpose you need to log in so what username and password have i given is the username is proc and the password is pbot and if the login is successful it's fine and if it is unsuccessful, then it says sorry, this is unsuccessful. And if you enter something incorrect, it says sorry, you have entered the wrong username and password for four times, after which you will be driven out of the code. I hope this code part is clear to you. What I'm going to do is I'll run this code and I'll show you how does it work. So I ran it for you. Let me see. Yeah. I press a key. My username, I said it's user. And my password is P word. Right. So it says login is unsuccessful. So I guess we did something problematic. User and it was P word now. Okay, I think something I missed by chance. Let me see the passcode and stuff. Okay. Uh, I said you know it's prog. Okay, it's prog and P word. So I was entering incorrect. So I'll run it again. Okay. So it's prog. And it was P word. My login is successful. Now I'll go I enter. 
so i have to add new records so my phone number will be 7008913408 my name will be says simran my price i have to pay is 2k so my record is successfully added so i don't know where the records i press here escape now let me see the list of records so see i added this correct now i have to press escape to go back i have to modify it so my modifying record is i entered this number So it asks me to enter the phone. Do you want to change the phone number? Say yeah, I want to change. So I exchange my number. Ah, uh, okay. Entered. Name is Simi. Say, and my price will be two K only. So I have to check again. I checked. See, my phone number is changed. My name is also changed. So I have to press the escape to go back. Now I'll pay. So the number which I typed here was this. If you remember, so it says the price of the payment. So I have to pay two k, right? So I print. So it says thank you, Simi, for your timely payments. Cool. Then I have to search for the record. So I have to enter the name again. Uh, sorry, the uh, number again. Nine three. So here the record has been found, and the price I do want to pay anything because I have already cleared my payments. Now let me delete and show it to you. So it says the entering the phone number. Full we'll entered record has been deleted. I don't want to delete anything else. Now just let's check. So see that is not present. Now what I'll do? I'll exit. It says thank you. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.